Hi everyone, Emily here. Thank you for stopping at my channel, Emily's Craft and Crochet. And today I am going to make a washcloth to do your dishes. So it's really a dish, dish cloth. <laughs> it's really pretty. Um, it's really easy. Just take your time and you'll get it. So let's go ahead and get started. And today I'm going to be using this peaches and cream. It's very pretty. It has white and blue and yellow, and it does ask you to use or suggest you to use a five millimeter, and that is exactly what I'm going to use. Okay, so I made a slip knot, and I have my uh, 5.00 book, and I am just going to go ahead and I'm going to chain 20. So I'm just grabbing the yarn and bringing it through 19, 19 20 and, and then I'm going to do one more and I'm going to go right into that 20th when I counted to 20. So not this one that your yarn's coming out of but the next one. What we're going to do is we're going to do a single crochet all the way across and so what I do I just look at my chain and I go into that top loop, bring my yarn through, grab your yarn and bring it through, and that is a single crochet. So we're going to do that all the way across. So this is a two row repeat. So one row you'll do this, single crochet all the way across, and the other row I'm going to show you how to do. So now we're at the end and we're going to chain one and turn your project. So we're going to go into, not this, this one right here that we just came from, we're going to go into the next one and we're going to do a single crochet. The next stitch here, make sure you watch now, we're going to yarn over we're going to go under both those strands, okay? We're going to pull our yarn through, and then we're just going to pull it up a little bit, so they're all they're all got the uh, same tension. We're going to yarn over again. We're going to go into the same stitch, grab our yarn and pull it through, pull it up. Now we have five. We're going to yarn over. Our, one more time, this will be our last time, the third time. We're going to go in and pull our yarn up. So now we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have seven on here. We're going to grab our yarn and pull it all the way through. And we're going to chain one. Then we're going to go to the next stitch and we're going to do a single crochet. You can turn it around and you have done a little puff stitch. Okay, so let's go ahead and do because this is going to be your front. For all your little puff stitches, this is your front. So we're really working on the back of the project. So let's do that again. And if you make your stitches too loose, these will hang out like this one is. Okay, so if they do, it just takes practice. Yarn over, like you're going to do a double crochet. You're going to go into the very next stitch. I go under two strands. We're going to grab that yarn and bring it up. I like to keep my fingers here on my yarn. And then I'm going to yarn over, move my finger up. I'm going to go in and pull it through. And they all seem to be the same. I'm going to do it one more time. Pull it up. Three, four, five, six, seven. Get your seven stitches. Grab your yarn and just turn your, just turn it so that your points facing down it will go through a lot easier. Got a hair on here. And then you crochet one so that you can close it up. 
I'm going to go right into this next stitch and do one single crochet. I like to make that nice and tight because it brings this down and makes this little stitch stick out more. See how pretty that is? Let's do it again. And we're going to do this all the way across. Yarn over. And when you do this yarn over, you're going to do that three times. So this is our first time yarning over. We're going to go in there, get our yarn and pull it through. Over, yarn over and go in the same stitch and pull it through again. And get some more yarn out. We're going to yarn over for the third and last time for this stitch. Bring it out. Just pull it up a little bit. Grab your yarn. Go through all three, chain one, and you're going to go to the next stitch, and you're going to do a single crochet. And I like to do that one, like I said, a little bit tight, because it brings this down and makes it poof out this side. Isn't that pretty? So these, you're only using, you're only going over, yarning over three times. Yarn over. We're not skipping any stitches. One, two, three. I'm going to grab my yarn and take it through. And chain one so I can close it up. Go to the next stitch and I'm going to do a single crochet. And I did another one. So puffy. So I'm going to yarn over. So like I said, this is a two row repeat. So the next row will go back the other way. And what we'll do is we'll do that in oops, single crochets. I did my chain one to just put to put them together there to close that off. Do a single crochet in the next stitch. And then I'm going to yarn over and go right into the next stitch. There's one, two, three. I'm going to grab my hook, face it down, and go through there. Ooh, if you don't pull them up very much, you have trouble going through like I am right now just to let you know chain one go to the next one do your single crochet like I said I like to do my nice and tight so that it gets really nice and puffy I think the three are really nice and puffy but you could always do th you know four if you wanted to five if you wanted to be really puffy so I'm going to yarn over, pull it up, this is my second pull up, yarn over, this is my number three, I'm just going to pull it up a little bit, and then go through it, I'm going to close it off, I did that crochet there to close it off, go into the next one, and do your single crochet. I know this might look a little bit hard and intimidating, but it's not simple, especially once you learn to do your tension. Two. My third one over. Pull it through. I have three left. So I am going to do my single crochet here. My last puff stitch here. One, two, three. Take it all the way through. Chain one. Here's my last stitch. My last stitch should always be my single crochet. And there we go. So isn't that pretty? So 
So now, this is the right side of the project. We just got done working on the back. So on the front of the project, always, we're going to do single crochets across. And then when we get over here, we'll turn around and we're going to do those puffs again. This way, single crochets. That way, puff stitches. So we're going to chain two. Did I chain two? Let me look here. I believe I did not. So there's one chain, two chains. So now we're going to go ahead and we are going to do one single crochet on the top of each one. So you can see here where we have the top and you can see here Okay, you can see where your puff is, and you can see where you did your single crochet. You're going to do one on your puff. One above your puff, and your next one is going to go into that single crochet. We're going to do another one on your puff. one right here where you did your single crochet and we're going to do that all the way across so and you can see right here is where you did that uh, where you did you just went through when you closed it off and then this is where you went and did I go right here into this one I know it's a little bit tighter but I like to go into that one and then we're going to go right into the single crochet. So you can see how the numbers, when you get done at the end, are going to come out to be the same. One at the top of the puffs, one right into the single crochet. So this is our repeat rows. And then when we get to the end, we're going to go back and we're going to do our puff stitches. So we're here at the end. Got my puff stitch and I'm going to go over here. And so I'll have two on this end. Now we're going to turn it around and we're going to do another row of our um, okay, chain two, our puff stitches. So we're actually on the back of the project. So I'm going to go ahead and chain one here. Not the one that this one is that. I'm going to go right into the next one. I'm going to do a single crochet. And then I'm going to go into the next one, and I'm going to do my, my puff stitches. There's one, yarn over, two, yarn over, three. Grab my yarn and bring it through all of them. Chain one. Go into the next stitch, and I'm going to do single crochet. So those are your two repeat rows. So look at there, right on top of each, right on top of each other.
So here's my little washcloth. I only did a few rows. And then I went around the outside edge with a single crochet. And then I just tied that off and ended it. And now it's ready to start scrubbing. And you can see the little puffs that stick out, which are really going to help get all the yuckiness off of my dishes. And I think it's really pretty. I like this color. And you, and I know they're going to help keep my dishes clean. So give this a try. You can make yours any size you want it. This is what size I like mine to be. So you guys have a great day. Stay safe. And I will be back soon. Thank you. Bye.